Hi, I'm John Ellis from an optical engineering company called Optics for Hire. We're located just outside Boston, Massachusetts. Today I'm going to discuss the things you need to know when you're writing a specification for a custom LED optic. This presentation is a very high level overview, hopefully short and sweet, and it applies to light fixtures, street lights, flashlights, headlamps, lanterns, light pipes, uh, just about anything that uh, uses an LED. So the first question you need to communicate to your engineer, whether it's uh, inside your own company or working with an outside company, is the LED that you intend on using. This is very important because LEDs come in different sizes and different shapes. They all have different uh, ray sets, which is the millions of rays of light as they come off the chip. And all of these details have a big impact on the optical design that will result uh, in your project. The second question that you need to consider and communicate is the desired light pattern. There's many different ways that we define this. It can be defined uh, just by a sketch that at this distance we want this shape of, uh, uh, of light pattern. It could be defined by a standard, maybe the Department of Transportation Street Light, or it could be defined by um, the angle. And there are different measurements for angle, full angle, field angle. Uh, you should consider these uh, as you write your requirement. And the third uh, detail is the mechanical space available. And this is very important because sometimes you are space limited and the space available doesn't allow you to achieve the beam pattern that you want with the chip that you've selected. Uh, as a rule of thumb, when you get a bigger uh, chip, uh, you need a bigger optic. Another rule of thumb, as you get a uh, smaller beam angle, you need a bigger optic. And as you get a bigger angle, beam angle, you need a smaller optic. Uh, so the mechanical space available may or may not constrain you and an optical engineer can help you figure out what is feasible in the mechanical space you have available by doing some basic calculations called the uh, etendue uh, calculations. Question four you should consider is whether you intend to use a reflector or a lens. There are some trade-offs you want to consider. Uh, lenses have a little more light control than reflectors usually um, in some cases, lenses can be more efficient uh, and have better transmission of light than reflectors. In other cases, reflectors can be better, and that depends on the reflector material you use. The fifth question that you should uh, communicate is any other requirements you have. Sometimes uh, applications require very specific uniformity at the target area, meaning where the light hits. Sometimes there's a specific requirement for light uniformity as it exits the light fixture. Uh, other possible requirements are color uniformity or overall uh, efficiency of the system. The sixth thing that you consider is uh, any business issues, what your budget is, what your intended volume production is. And this will help determine whether you should just be using an off-the-shelf lens, whether you uh, have the budget and the uh, volume to justify making a mold and going into high volume production. So to recap, here are the six things that I think you should uh, communicate when you're talking to an optical engineer. What is the LED that you're using? Uh, the, what is the light pattern that you want to achieve? What's the mechanical space you have available? Do you have any preference for a lens versus a reflector? Any other specific requirements and some business issues? These are things that we deal with every day at my company. We're an optical engineering firm and we've designed uh, 100 or more LED optics. If you have a question, please give us a call. We're happy to help. Thanks and have a great day.